Hi, my name is Jason Harlow. Welcome to my V Office Hour. I'm going to go over my solution for Physics 132F, Fall 2010, Test 1, Problem 2 from Version 1. It's based on Knight Chapter 21 material. So first, let's carefully read the question. A form of soundproofing is a fine wire mesh which is held at a fixed distance from a flat wall. When sound waves are normally incident on the wall, they first encounter the mesh. About half of the sound intensity is reflected and half is transmitted. The transmitted sound waves can then travel the distance D, reflect off the wall, travel the distance D again, and then combine with the original reflected sound from the wire mesh. If the two sound waves are exactly out of phase at this point, they will destructively interfere, reducing the total reflected sound intensity. If D equals 2.54 centimeters, or an inch, what is the minimum frequency for which the soundproofing will work properly? Okay, so it's a little hard to picture, but basically you've got mesh, wall, the sound's coming along, and there's two reflections. Reflection off the first mesh, and reflection off the wall that's got a different path length, and then they're combining and you want them to be out of phase. So this should actually remind you of chapter 21, uh, page 652 I'm on. There's all this stuff about anti-reflection coatings, and there's the lady with the glasses with anti-reflection, and it's the same sort of thing except now we've got sound instead of light, but you've got two interfaces where there can be reflection and they combine destructively. And there's even a nice equation for destructive interference, equation uh, 21.33. So that's what we're going to use. Let's take a look at my solutions. Okay, so I've drawn a little picture there of what's going on and called it uh, 1 and 2, the two reflections. And you can see for the whole path of 2 that it's traveled this distance d, um, 2d further. So I've drawn a little bit of an angle there, but imagine that there's no angle and that it has normal incidence. Meaning it's coming at 90 degrees. So I've just, you can see it's traveling 2D further. And then if you look at equation uh, 21.33 in the book, you'll actually see that there's a little n factor, which is index of refraction, which in my solutions I've just left it out. Um, that was because uh, they were talking about interference for light and in that case if you have light traveling through glass then it slows down um, by this factor n and that, that changes the wavelength. So with sound it's always traveling at the speed of sound uh, it doesn't change its speed so n equals 1 I guess. So but there is an m m is uh, an integer 1, 2, or 3 uh, you know, etc. It's some integer, and so you can see lambda equals two d divided by m minus a half, and as the m gets larger, I guess the lambda will get smaller. So looking at the rest of the solution here, uh, the maximum lambda will correspond to the minimum uh, value of frequency. Uh, so that will be when m is smallest, right? So m equals 1 will be the, both the largest value of lambda and the min minimum frequency, which is what you're asked for. So setting m equals 1 in that equation, we have lambda equals 2d over 1 minus a half, or 2d over half, so it's 4d. Then we use the equation for the speed of sound, which is, or any wave, which is the wavelength times the frequency. Solve that for frequency. Frequency is speed of sound divided by the wavelength, so V over 4D. Plugging in our numbers, we get 343 uh, divided by 4 times uh, 0.0254, so that's 1 inch in meters. And we end up with frequency of 3376, or 3380 uh, hertz to three significant figures. Okay, so the answer is C. And just to go over it, you've got a fixed distance, or a, a distance between the two reflections, and for this particular frequency, the distance that the 
sound that hits the wall travels is exactly half a wavelength further. So when it combines, it combines destructively and you get less sound. So, you know, an application of this could be if you have a piece of machinery which is making some whiny sound at exactly 3, 380 hertz, then you could make this one inch mesh in front of your walls and it might uh, make your factory a lot quieter. So, my name is Jason Harlow and I approve this message.